Today on the channel, we're talking about product photography props you probably already got. That didn't take 19 takes. If you want to take great product photos, you need a set to actually take them on. If you look on a site like Amazon or Wex, you'll see that anything labelled as a photography prop can get quite expensive, but there's no need to spend money on these things. You've probably got everything you need already in your house. Let's look at some examples. Let's start with your basic baking tray. It's not much to look at. It's mucky, filthy, been used hundreds of times to cook your tea, but it makes a nice grungy background. I think it makes a really good backdrop for technology, things like cameras, lenses, phones, that kind of thing. And another great option if you want to shoot tech is a frying pan. They're not particularly interesting on the inside, but if you flip them over, almost all of them will have some sort of texture on the back here, and the older and more used it is, the better it looks. So I gave this a quick wipe down and went to shoot my Apple Watch. You don't even need fancy lighting for this, I shot this one right next to my back door, that's just natural light coming in. And if you want to mix that light up a bit, add a bit of interest, I'll just use a pizza tray. The holes in it means it casts some really nice light and shadow patterns. While I was raiding the kitchen, I got this chopping block. This isn't the best one, to be honest. It's quite boring, but it is really patina. It's been used a lot. A nice butcher's block one would look better, but I managed to get this shot with this one. Now, I am using lighting for this one, but again, this could have been shot next to a window. You don't need all the gear. You just need a nice big light source. One more thing which used to live in the kitchen and now lives in my studio is this piece of slate. I think it was originally intended for serving food, but it makes a great backdrop. You get a nice sheen from it if you hit it with light at the right angle, very slightly reflective. It was one of the backdrops I used during this shoot. I find backdrops like this much more interesting because they have texture, unlike photography backdrops, which are usually paper, cloth, or card. Now this is one of my favorites. This is a really old, beat up toolbox. There's nothing in it now, but it looks amazing on camera. Here's a few samples. Brand new high-tech drone parts shot against this beat-up, rusty toolbox to give a really nice contrast. I like using leather as a backdrop as well, whether it's a bag or a jacket, and it's malleable so you can shape it around your subject. Smoke looks great in product shots as well, it adds some depth to them, but it can be expensive. I'd love to have a smoke generator like the Genie, it's amazing, but my god it's expensive, I can't afford that, so I'll use the poor man's version. Light up your joystick, waft it around a bit and the smoke looks great, especially with it's backlit. If you're paying attention, you probably notice that in this particular shoot, I use the slate, I use leather, and I use my smoke machine. So there we have it, just a few things you've probably already got lying around the house and you may never have thought of using them as a photography prop. I hope this helped, if it did, drop a like, and if you want to see more content like this, there's a subscribe button down there as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.